हेलो ऑल वेलकम बैक टू ब्लीड इलेक्ट्रिकल दिस इज कोर्स ऑन एनर्जी मैनेजमेंट एंड ऑडिट आई एम त्रिवेली नायडू फ्रॉम द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग एट सेंट विंसन पलोटी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल काइंडली लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब एंड ऑब्वियसली क्लिक द बेल आइकन ऑन नाउ इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो सीरीज वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड अबाउट energy what are the types of energy the global and indian energy scenario also we have discussed about the global environmental effects we have seen what is carbon trading and carbon footprints if you have not watched all these videos you will find the link for all these videos in the description box so get your concepts cleared now in this video we shall be discussing about energy conservation energy conservation what is the importance what is the need of energy conservation so let's see firstly the energy resources are limited we do not have plenty of resources and if we have resources it is unevenly distributed throughout the globe if we are having coal we do not have oil with us so we have to import oil from some other nation so every resources are limited secondly conventional energy sources cannot be reused and renewed if you are using coal for production of heat then further it is turning into ashes although this ashes can be sent to a brick manufacturing industry but you cannot use this coal again to get heat correct so we are going for other methods like for obtaining heat like we are going for solar radiations so it is renewable you get it continuously but what about the fossil fuels it will get depleted and it cannot be renewed or reused then to save money obviously once we came to know about cfls the led lights we wanted to have less electricity bill so we have replaced all the tube lights which was consuming 60 watts with led lights so now the electricity bill is also reduced the money is saved so saving money is another aspect then save energy it is said that energy saved is energy generated obviously we all know that there is a constant mismatch between the energy generated and the energy we consume we all know that we are facing we are actually struggling from load sheddings because we are not able to cope up with the load expectation of the people so energy generated is less and the consumers are more the requirement is more so this is another aspect then for reducing pollution obviously using the coal fossil fuel causes a lot of toxic gases into environment so especially the carbon dioxide emission we have already seen about the carbon dioxide emission and the factors that were associated with it correct it was causing severe environmental damage and we have to reduce this environmental damage because carbon dioxide was playing a major role in the greenhouse gases and it was widening the blanket we had and it was also responsible for ozone layer depletion so so many environmental issues were there so therefore we need to conserve this energy it becomes a moral responsibility of all the people on this planet to conserve the energy now what is this energy conservation actually energy conservation is the term used for reducing the consumption through using less energy service okay although we are having energy with us but we try to use it less as less as possible okay so energy conservation is the process of reducing demand on a limited supply and ensuring that the demand is made by alternative means of supply like if if i'm not using coal let me go for solar energy okay in order to generate electricity so that is what is the role of energy conservation energy conservation is all about using energy only when it is required using it as much as needed not much of greed okay for the job and not wasting any amount of energy so this is what is energy conservation now coming to energy efficiency we often get confused between energy conservation energy efficiency and energy management so what is this energy efficiency now we saw that saving energy was energy conservation but 
when you try to build up a technique in order to obtain energy conservation it is energy efficiency for example you know that the tube lights were consuming more electricity then you replaced it by cfl because it was energy efficient so technology comes up okay the motors the transformers that consume more energy has to be replaced by the ones which are more efficient so energy efficiency is often used to describe any kind of energy saving measure through technically energy is different from energy conservation so it is not like energy conservation but it is different it is the means by which you are obtaining energy conservation so this is energy efficiency for example i've already explained to you about the fluorescent lamps being used similarly efficient boilers takes less fuel to heat a home to given temperature than a less efficient model because why why are we discussing actually about boilers because in commercial buildings in all our residential buildings we often use hvac system heating ventilation and air conditioning system so if the residential load is less then energy is obviously conserved so this is about energy efficiency so we have to use energy efficient products when we are using it okay then energy efficiency programs for industry nation and globe now bwe that is bureau of energy efficiency takes a lot of initiative we have already discussed this in lecture number 1 about bwe and its roles okay so now here bwe is having a lot of programs worldwide so that energy is being conserved okay so how does it help as an in industry how does it help in industry you will have reduced energy bills then increased competitiveness you have increased productivity improved quality increased profits then how does it help us in a nation it gives you reduced energy imports obviously if i'm if i'm using less energy then i'll not may, maybe not i'll i'll not take import oil from another nation because you know the prices of petrol i not need not explain to you all these things okay we are struggling with things so it reduces the energy imports then avoided costs can be used for poverty reduction obviously if the economy is going into importing such and such things from outside nation obviously our economy is hampered okay so to avoid cost can be used for poverty reduction then conservation of limited resources then improved energy security then how does it help the globe it helps globally by reduction of greenhouse gases as i told you because this is a phenomena of very much concern to us global warming we know we are already struggling with the temperature especially at nagpur we are struggling a lot it's really hot and other emissions okay then maintains a suitable environment so this is how energy efficiency program benefits for industry nation and globe okay now coming to energy management how do we manage this energy there are certain things that we can do about it now energy management is a term used for saving or reducing the use of energy in business public sector or government organization and homes okay it is the method in which you are conserving energy it is the method in which you will save your energy it can be defined as an art of using optimum energy to maximize profits and minimize the cost thereby improving the economic opportunities we are saving a lot of money doing this energy management so how does it work actually let us see now this energy management could be done firstly by understanding the energy use first we need to know how much energy are we consuming last year how much energy did i consume this year how much i am consuming you can compare between the months also so first you need to know that then you have to plan and organize you have to uh, form policies you have to make some strategies so to so as to con consume this consumption of energy could be reduced okay then you have to implement all these strategies that you have designed okay now using this strategies i would like 
have minimum energy usage or minimum energy consumption so you have to implement it then you have to whatever thing have been implemented now you have to check out if it is working properly or not so you have verification monitoring and reporting then finally the report is being submitted to the company and the company is contented that's all so this is about energy management so energy management is a technique in which you can save a lot of energy and a lot of money as well so now how can we conserve this energy in domestic and commercial sectors so let us see this first using smart grids what are these smart grids grids are generally what they are supplying you with power now why smart grids because there is a two way communication between the grid and the customer in this case why because previously the grids had only to supply you power they had nothing to do with your energy pattern nothing to do with your energy consumption but in this we see that the grid is also paying attention to the consumption of the people so it gives you sends you feedback that now no the consumption is going high so it is a technology which is interfacing in between this grids as well as the consumers so these grids improve efficiency by using technology to optimize the production and distribution through a combination of see just pay attention on this distributed resources interactive technologies renewable energy two way communications and dynamic utilization they provide business and consumers with information that allows them to alter their consumption based on supply demand and pricing that improves the reliability and flexibility of energy use so it is so interactive the grid is now interacting with the consumers so we have to use these smart grids then secondly installing cfls i have been constantly talking about cfl so when you replace your tube lights incandescent lamp filament lamps with cfls you have such a lot of saving and it lasts 12 times longer than the regular bulbs so just see the significance of this okay then using maximum daylight we are having that attitude all the time the light is on we are having we are having the fan on all the time but if it is winter we can switch it off we can use maximum daylight we can switch off the lights also we can do a lot of many things with sunlight also it is seen everything is visible provided your building is a smart building there is proper lighting system done okay proper windows proper a uh, ventilation so all these aspects are really very important so using maximum daylight could conserve energy okay then getting the energy audit done now energy audit we will be talking about it in the coming lectures energy auditing is nothing but analyzing monitoring the usage of energy okay it's somewhat in line with uh, the energy management only okay but the energy auditor once in a year or twice in a year they go to a firm and they conduct audits like the chartered accountants they conduct account audit so we as electrical engineers conduct electrical energy audit okay so that we come to know what is the consumption pattern how it has changed what improvements need to be done so it is mostly done by a panel of trained professional for analyzing the energy use and flow for energy in a building process or system to reduce the amount of energy input into the system without affecting the output and the recent development of smartphone apps will help the consumers to get their energy audit done at home okay so see so much of technology is coming now building technology and smart meters nowadays the smart meters are so smart that they can send you feedback on your mobile phone like for example if we talk about android mobiles we all know that we if we consume data okay i'm talking about the internet if we consume data it gives you a quick notification 50% of data is exhausted or rather it would say 90% of data is being exhausted so in the similar fashion you can see about energy consumption okay now you have reached to such and such unit okay of energy 
and you will suddenly get worried about it oh my god i've consumed this much of this much of energy in the month is yet to go so this is what the smart meters would do okay then you can have energy taxes because many of the countries are following this thing you know they employ energy or carbon taxes to motivate energy users and to reduce their consumption okay we have already spoken about carbon trading similar thing was happening just because globally the carbon dioxide emissions should stop that is why the carbon trading was coming into picture okay because they were not permitting the carbon dioxide liberation they had to purchase permit yes and if they violated their permit they had to purchase more permit from other industry which was not that much emitting carbon dioxide but they had to pay in all the money would go so that is not desirable so energy tax could be one of the methods of conserving more and more energy okay so that's all for this video lecture i hope you all like this video if you have liked this video do not forget to click on the like button and do subscribe the channel thank you so very much i'll be coming up with the next video series on energy techniques